Okay, this is recording. I'm recording this uh, video on an iPhone 6s at 4K 30 frames per second. This is my normal uh, iPhone uh, shooting for shooting videos, but I'm not using it because I'm going to use this microphone here to see whether something works or not. This is my new format. Um, so it's going to be a long video. You can look into the what should we call it? The chapters to go to the areas that you want to see. So hmm, today I got a package. So I'm going to tell you about it. So I've been interested in what should we call it? Uh, IEMs. That it, it means in-ear monitors. There's something like a like a not a headphone headphone is normally like this one here this is a headphone of course i've been using this for how long already i bought it in february and uh, today is the uh, 25th of may 2022 wednesday 2 p.m so this is a headphone bought in uh, 21st of February 2022 so I've been using this for three months now uh, this is a wear low cups uh, it's open back therefore there's air going in and out so it'll be less uh, humid and sweaty but uh, thanks to global warming it's pretty warm even in the evenings and night so sweat is inevitable this is a headphone earphones is something like this is the only available earphones that I have this one you put into the ear these are just generic buds that I got free that comes with buying something like this one here this is a transcend mp3 player it's quite dusty I'm not sure whether it works or not hopefully it does it does have a, a what you call speaker here so you can hear stuff so IEMs is uh, in-ear monitors and you look in, uh, you go and watch your favorite artist performing live in a concert and you look into the ears, there's some kind of like a plastic thing. It is not an earphone, it is an IEM, an in-ear monitor. Those function as something that they want to hear. They want, the artists want to hear what their instruments uh, how it sounds like that's why they have that when they are playing in the concert so I'm going to use this one here as a to play some songs and test out the IEM that I just bought so this is a bit of history I've been using this generic earphones that came with this transcend mp3 player that I think I bought I, th I think it cost about 50 US dollars or 200 ringgit bought from Dig Digital Mall in Petaling Jaya, Malaysia so uh, yeah that's all and other history is I'm gonna like uh, show you this one here it's gonna be a intro chapter so you want to go straight into the unboxing go ahead but this is a bit of of uh, history this is Plaquestone Blackstone has sent me two items, which is this one here, the G800 gaming headset. This one lasted about two years with repairs here and there. The sound was, well, okay. The sound was okay and it was generic. Then I got this one here, this Samsung SR850s and it was so good this one is so good jumping from a gaming headset into a open back studio reference headset so this one my old ones and uh, besides the G800 heads uh, gaming headset that they gave and this one lasted two years and you can see the state of repair the plastic has come out from this like suction cups here and all this like uh, paper plaster because something cracked around this here this is made of plastic and finally I had to buy the SR850s because 
this one here there's something wrong with the connection I think one side of the ear to the left side I think is like it's echoey so uh, yeah echoey so I don't I had to like throw it not throw it away put it in the box so besides the G800 hits headphone before I got this G G800 gaming headset here for Blackstone thank you Blackstone they sent me this one yeah this one here is something like a bullet thing I guess this would be my second IEMs the first IEM I was I was thinking when I was in New Zealand I think because you look at it this is I think this is an IEM because this one it looks like an IEM you put into the ear put into the ear and uh, that's how it works so the time that I got the Plaxstone these, these uh, earphones I did not know what an IEM is this one is special it's got some magnets so you can do this with two of these heads and uh, you've been wondering why where's the wire the wire I think is gone I threw it away there were some problems with it and it only lasted about two months because I was like rough handling it so the wire was like always being tensioned and pulled and suddenly it just stopped working and I guess it's the wiring issue so these only lasted one or two months that's a shame the wiring here is like the flat flat wire it's not a ah, like this one here it's a flat wire So that's the history of my IEMs. This is, as, as I said, my second IEMs. The first IEMs was uh, co was complimentary from an MP3 player, which I do not think I have. I don't think I have, I have displayed it. I'm just looking at my shelf here, so I'm not sure whether I've displayed it or not. Mm. I'm just looking at... Oh, there it is. This one here, this is an MP3 player. This is uh, the Zen X5. You see, it's cracked and all the buttons are kind of like gone. It's from Creative. This is an MP3 player. I think I bought it in New Zealand in 2010, 2011, 2012, somewhere around that time. And it came with some buds that also has this type of configuration and I, I think that was my first IEMs at the time I don't know whether they're called in-ear monitors or not no idea but uh, yeah I think the I can't remember the, the wait I think my first IEMs were Panasonic or was it Sennheisers not sure did this come with Sennheiser's creative? No idea. I remember that I was using something else, Sennheiser's. Hmm, I can't remember because I don't have the proof. I think I threw them away. So that's the blurry history of my, my foray into IEMs and whatnot. So this Buddhist style Plexstone is like, you. it's okay, I'm not sure, who knows. So now back to the current timeline. Uh, now I'm quite inter interested in IEMs because of YouTubers and whatnot. So there's the power of suggestion is pretty strong from the YouTube community. What you, you are persuaded to test out and buy stuff so this is the gone and now to the unboxing but before we do that the package where is it mm, this is the package and my name has been blurred out before that I have to say this one here is called the CCACRA. It's from a company called KZ. 
that's situated in Shenzhen, China. So that Shenzhen, China is the capital of IEMs in China for cheap uh, IEMs. So whatever you get nowadays, the budget of IEMs is normally from Shenzhen, China. So the price for this is this uh, unit here is I think I bought it for 44 ringgit 44 ringgit is roughly about 11 US dollars if I'm not mistaken let me go and see the spreadsheet oh I bought it for 39 ringgit so about 10 US dollars 10 roughly 10 US dollars so I was actually wanting to buy something else, another IEM which is uh, which is recommended by Dang Potts, a famous YouTuber, audiophile YouTuber from Australia. So the reason I got this Samsung SR850 850s is because of him. He recommended those, so I bought it, and that this one cost 110 bucks, and uh, and he also recommended the KZ. Z, uh, sorry, KZ, Z, KZ what? Uh? I can't remember. He recommended the uh, he recommend recommended the KZ ZSN ZSN Pro, so um, I might buy that, but uh, when I ask. Ask Reddit. I asked the the I don't know is it uh, or the subreddit called Audio File or something like that. I'm not sure which one. Ask them uh, the advice on the budget IEM. So they they did not recommend the KZ ZSM Pro, but they do recommend this one here, the CRA CCA. As I said earlier, it cost me cost me about a. Uh, 39 ringgit 39 ringgit is roughly less than 10 US dollars so I ordered it and uh, it took only about one week to get here so let's see uh, how long it took for it to come here order it it's 17th of May and today is the 25th of May so roughly about eight days so it just takes eight days to come here that's pretty fast and this is from China so I implore you, China, do not invade Taiwan. If you do so, everything, if I want to buy something, is going to be more difficult. So I'm surprised that the package is a bit small, very, very small. And this will be my first IEMs. And I already ordered another IEM, which is called the Moondrop Chew. That costs about uh, 71 ringgit. So it's almost double the price of this one here. But the, the moon drop chews, they say, or the YouTuber called uh, Clinical says that it's worth it to buy that moon drop chew. And I bought it because I uh, got a bit of discount as a first order from AliExpress. So I might as well jump the gun. Uh, got a bit of discount, maybe 10% discount, that's all. Instead of paying about 90 ringgit for moon drop chew, I. I paid 71 ringgit. So this one here, 39 ring, ringgit. C C A C R A, recommended by Reddit, by the people from Reddit. So how do we open this thing here? This is an unboxing, enough of history. So this is the maybe second chapter after the intro. You know, I'm interested in like currently IEMs. I used to be interested in Gundams and whatnot, in collecting Gundams, uh, especially of the not the original Bandai, but the China made ones, the knockoffs. Now I'm interested in uh, in ear monitors, and I'm also interested in the third party transformers, like the Magic Square Constructi Constructicons, but they are so expensive, like. 400 ringgit for two small little constructicon robots 
and you have to buy six of them so three sets of constructicons to make a bigger robot called devastator that means roughly 400 times three is 1200 ringgit just for collecting all these toys but i'm not going to because it's too expensive hey how to open this thing I've seen the unboxings in uh, in YouTube, so I know roughly what it looks like. It's gonna be quite generic because KZ normally has the KZ company has the same old, same old uh, style of of how they package their stuff. There's nothing in here. So this is the Fable CCA CRA. It says ultra thin high polymer diaphragm super treble extension than never and ever what you see this then never and ever okay there's something wrong there it's better separation of vocal and instrumental music uh, what's it got to do with germany that was made in shenzhen uh, what does this say blah 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 where it's done whatsapp sales email made in china qc pass no mic this is has no mic i don't care about mic the mic that i'm always using is is a uh, is something else forgot the name of it uh sd800 pseudo tech of course they sent me that free unit and it works well it's 25 ohms so i don't need a dac a digital audio converter I don't know what that means but uh hey so there's a plastic film over this cca cra so let's open this up oh it's not really a box it's a sliding type of box Slide it out. Ooh, very very shiny. It's going to like attract marks, uh, finger fingerprints all the time. Oh boy. Oh, there's nothing here. And this is the IEMs. Ooh, my first IEMs from China bringing an extraordinary audio experience beyond imagination for everyone is our goal of unremitting efforts what does that mean unremitting efforts what's that mean what does that mean oh my god I do not know so CRA nice it's recommended by everybody they say this is a very very good uh, headphone or IEM for people do you remember back then when you were younger, maybe 10-20 years ago, there's a program called the Win Amp, when you play mp3 uh, or play music from your computer, you needed something called a Win Amp, that's the most ubiquitous program to play music. There's a slider there, there's an EQ slider and if you play with it normally for people and that means me. Uh, to get the best sound you always like slide it like a V shape that means the sides of the slider is up and get it progressively gets lower and lower as you venture into the middle of the graph or of the slider that's the V shape and they say this V shape is pretty awesome so this is good for bass I heard okay good for bass whereas the one that I bought almost double the price of this one the Moondrop shoes that is supposed to be closer to a studio reference that means it's not a V shape it's more of a studio reference uh, I'm not sure whether this is correct or not but uh, I'm just pulling air out of my ass that's all so that's why this is very highly recommended even more recommended is there such a thing even uh, the what call reputation of the CCA CRA is higher than the KZ KZ Z S N Pro, yeah. Wish they just give names to their products. This KZ company. There's a plastic here, and there's something here. Aha. Ooh. And. 
there it is wow nice nice and uh, I think there's a buds yeah only like let's see how many buds do I get only two sets two sets of buds one smaller and one bigger that's all yeah and what's in here uh, okay there's nothing in the box anymore nothing nada don't need the hobby knife let's see uh, it does not say whether it's CC it just say CCA does it say CRA doesn't say CRA there's no microphone so it's no warranty 12 months all products sold by CCA official store are covered 12 months warranty how does this work this warranty I feel this up phone number dealer what does it work or not warranties nowadays do I have to buy a postage stamp and send this off I don't know how it works but oh oh the proof of what it is CCA CRA but it's not mentioned in this because maybe this is just a generic like booklet for all CCA products CCA is another branch of the KZ family so they are kind of like related so this is it it's kind of like a very cool I like these things because they, they the wire is detachable oh I'm surprised there's a, another bud here it's already come equipped with a bud very cool there's been recently a uh, what should we call it controversy about KZ. KZ is part of the CZA family. CCA is part of the KZ family. Okay, uh, the KZ other audio things they say the drivers or balanced amateurs they, they simply put into all these IEMs and they do not work. That's one of the the what call controversy with this company KZ. But this is only like one, one dynamic driver, which is this gold thing in here. This is a dynamic driver. I don't, I don't think there is any balanced amateurs or whatever thing. I see it's already like uh, got my fingerprints on this thing here. It's very, very shiny. Very cool. Very cool indeed. What size is it? It's a middle size. Uh? Yeah, it seems to be like a yeah me the medium size there is a small one there's a large one and the, this comes with the medium size ones oh one of the reasons why i do not want to like depend on this normal earphones for to see of this mp3 player trans transcend mp3 player is because when i ride my motorcycle right if you travel from Ipoh here, which are where I'm living in Malaysia, Ipoh to Kuala Lumpur is about 200 kilometers from each other. It takes about five hours on a motorcycle. If you're on a, if you're using a car, it will take about roughly less than three hours. But on a motorcycle, you have to have frequent stops because your ass is, as is, is, is like having pain and your grip, you grip the accelerator all the time and your muscle finger muscles are always constricting. You need to rest it. So we have to like have frequent rest stops uh, for the body and of course the motorcycle also needs to be refueled at least once because the the fuel tank is not it's not enough for a full trip from from Ipoh to Kuala Lumpur so five hours of, of riding time you just don't want to hear nothing or the sound of the engine you want to hear something so uh, if you use this one and you have a helmet you put on the helmet and sometimes when you're riding and you jolt it and it, it will be messy it will come off or misalign itself in the ear and you, the music is not not 
not it's not a nice experience with these ear phones when you're using it on a motorcycle but this is where this one comes in because it comes with ear hooks this will be the first time that I'll be experiencing ear hooks because I've never used ear hooks before so oof. wow it's you can see the copper inside it is a plastic translucent thingy it's soft when it comes to like the, all these IEMs, I have a, a bit of passing knowledge of which is the best because people keep on recommending this and that in the budget area, okay, about less than 50 US dollars range. Uh, you can buy even more expensive IEMs that goes into the, how much? 100, 200, 300, 400 US dollars. Those exist, those are expensive and those are normally not from China, not from Shenzhen, China. Those are top of the top, but most important thing is what is the quality of these thing here? Whoa, it's quite long. Ah, is it long enough? Which one is longer? I wonder. I'm gonna do a test and see which one is longer. Is it my earphones here or? this new uh, is roughly the same yep the same length as my earphone so there won't be any new adjustments in regards to the length of the wire so here is a bit of a uh, see how it's hooked now how do I tell left and right how does it work uh, see here the, the there's more plastic here compared to the wire here so this is the ear hooks so oh yeah i can see it there's an r here so that's for the right and this is for the left so i wish there was a way to tell so i think i have to do some modifications like this one here this earphone here i put a uh, what you call it I put some white stuff. Uh, I put what? Pen thingy, uh, uh, marker, pen correction, pro correction pen here. I just like write on here to it's indicate it's for the right side. Yeah. But this is black. This earphone is black. I can use the white correction pen. But this is kind of like translucent so I'm not sure what I'm going to do maybe I'm going to use uh, these ones here to wrap around to indicate it's the right side so I'm going to maybe do that so it'll be easier so you can see the the shape of this it's like a ear shape hook so I'm wear it kind, kind of weird so but this one here, does it have a right and left? It does not, yeah? Does it does it have a right and left? I'm sorry, but this is my first time dealing with IEMs, okay? No idea. I'm gonna try and fit it into my ear and see how it feels. What does it feel like? Okay, cool. So I think the IEM said there's no left and right. I don't think so. Does it look weird? Do you see it? This is how it looks. I think, I hope. So the right, I guess, is... This is... I can't see it now. The, ah, this is the left L. And this is the right. So this connector here, how does it work? Uh, I do not know how does it work. I just simply, simply chug in. Does it work like that? Okay. Now I'm kind of nervous. CCACRA, there's something like a, like a, what does it say? 
CCA CRA Generation Acoustics. Hmm. Interesting. So this is the right side, and I think I put like this here, and put it over my ear, like so on a motorcycle here. So when the when when you're riding and you uh, this thing here won't fall easily because of gravity and if 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 your 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 wire is pulled yeah if it's pulled it can't pull the IEM because of the hook the ear hook here so that's why it's like uh, very interesting indeed for me so the next one is How can you tell whether it's left up, down, left and right? I said to know. Okay. It works. Okay, I got it on. I hope it works. So let's see here. I'm going to like uh, take a few days to check it out. And everything here will be different after I check it out. So this L-shaped connector here. Let's see whether it works or not. If there is any music played. Okay, it works. Very cool. And I can't hear, I mean, outside. The sound from the outside is very, very uh, less. I mean, I can't hear much from the outside world because of the how the buds are. There's the one here, blocks uh, sound waves from outside. So, very cool indeed. Very interesting. I like the detachable wires so if the wires here is like somewhere around there broken uh, then this at least the mic the the IEM here is still work does it still work if there's something wrong with the cables uh, regarding the cable I'm not sure if you were to upgrade in, upgrade the cable does it sound better these are just like copper wires inside it so now I get to get to see what is actually inside the wires because this one is just a gen generic black cable and I'm not sure what it is inside but now I get to see what's inside it's just copper simple copper so the sound works it's I'm gonna compare it with these generic ones for a few days and uh, I don't have a you know those like I think very expensive like a head mold with ears can't like get the sound sample but I think I'll try to like use the microphone here and put this over it and see and record the video and you hear what it sounds like uh, I'm not sure how it works but I don't think anybody is doing that so I don't think it works so this one here is definitely much heavier than this generic plastic thing so it's much much uh, bigger too see the size it's much bigger so i'm gonna test these things out see you in a few days maybe or oh, 30 minutes already holy shit so uh let's see the right side so i guess uh, the the iems they don't care whether it's left or right so these things here it's not important whether this is dedicated to the left or dedicated to the right because it does not matter hmm so I better like uh, the right side would have some kind of like oil and now it's getting dirty because of my fingerprints and oil 
So this is this Y here is there's an R. If you can see, ah, yeah, you can see it, the R. So I'm gonna get an orange here. Maybe put here. Maybe we wrap around. So it's quite. It will be interesting to like listen to music using this when on a motorcycle on my trips to KL, but I haven't planned any trips to KL as of yet using the motorcycle. Okay, this is the right side. Oh no, it moves. Shit. Never mind, that's okay. Okay, see you in a few days. 35 minutes on back.